today we're going to talk about gestures, um, how your physical responses to somebody and your, your gestures, your hands, your head movements all line up to help communicate the message that you are trying to convey. For instance, um, when you use your hands to punctuate what you're saying, you might be trying to convince somebody to come with you. Whereas if you're trying to stop somebody from running into traffic, you might give them a, a firm stop sign. These are very easy, obvious uh, uh, examples of gestures. Something else to consider is the ones that we do that are more immediate, something that's going to be more of a response to what we think we are going to be perceiving or what we are trying to say. For instance, when you want to agree with somebody that's maybe your manager and you're saying yes, but your first instinct when they said, I need you to do this or work with somebody that you don't want to work with, your body may have said no, you remember, yeah, y'all get it done. Which one's more believable? Is it going to be the, yeah, yeah, I'll get it done. Your manager's not going to have as much faith in you as if you're like, yeah, okay, I'll get on it. it it's your body language's way of communicating your innate feelings and what you really are thinking. So some tips to try to control that would be to watch how you verbalize your words. For instance, don't use an annoying tone when you wave at somebody, and unless you're really quite annoyed to see them. Uh, hi is not nearly as friendly of a gesture as a hello. So watch your tone, watch how you're saying things. Um, use smaller gestures to show confidence and power. So when I am in meetings with executives or CEOs, I keep my hands in my lap. And when I want to talk, I talk directly to the person that I'm speaking with and I use very small hand gestures because I have noticed and you will find that it's studied and it's even in the, um, the link that I include in our bibliography for references that people who use grandiose gestures when they're being very out loud and very outspoken and they're telling you how it is. They actually are, tend to be perceived as people with less confidence in what they're saying and they don't believe what they're saying as much as people who are more reserved and more confident because they believe their words carry the weight for them. So you'll see that that's a really great example. If you're in a situation where you're trying to convince a CEO or, or maybe your boss that you need a raise, this is going, you should really give me the raise because I've worked hard for it. You're going to come off as obnoxious. Whereas if you could say, my production is up 12% this year, and I really feel like that 2.5% raise that you guys offered doesn't reflect the value I have in the, communi the community or in my company. That's going to have a different response and a different effect. So that's a couple of things you can keep in mind. Um, make sure your words and your gestures match. If you're saying, it was great doing business with you. Um, sorry, I sighed. I have bronchitis. If you're saying, it was great doing business with you that's gonna come across a lot better than, it was great doing business with you. That's not, there's so many gestures there that are just saying, I can't wait to get away from you. Please don't ever talk to me again. So you need to really watch how your gestures are communicating your words and if they're going to back up your true meaning and what you're trying to say, or if they're going to show your true thoughts and your true emotions and maybe mess up something in the business world for yourself. Um. I'm thinking that that's about it for this video. And I think I just wanna leave you with the thought of the yes versus no. When somebody says, yeah, I'll do it. And they're shaking their head, no, yeah, I'll do it. Versus, yeah, I'll get it done. Which one are you more likely to believe? I think that alone will kind of show the power that gestures can have. So goodbye. And I hope that we'll talk to you soon.